Hi, it's Danielle with Oasis Lactation Services, and here is our much talked about video on Facebook, um, the milk screen breast milk testing strips that are to detect alcohol in breast milk. So what I wanted to do in this video is we're going to use water and we're going to use um, some alcohol of a known dilution to make an alcohol solution that's similar to a woman who is over the legal limit to drive, what her breast milk will probably be like. Um, and then I also wanted to compare that to just plain water. Um, I'm going to be using water from my water filtration system. It's a reverse osmosis filtration system. Um, I'm sure tap water would be fine, but we're trying to make sure that the alcohol level is as close to exactly what we are saying that we have. Um, so here's how we came to the dilution that we're using today. Today we are going to make a 0.1% alcohol solution to test the breast milk strips. Um, the reason that we're using the 0.1% is because that would be a legal limit. You'd be over the legal limit in the state that I live in. I live in Georgia. Um, so to understand how breast milk can get to 0.1% ethanol, that would be about two to two and a half drinks for an average sized woman with a normal alcohol metabolism. Um, whatever you ingest is diluted into your bloodstream and a woman who is at 0.08% um, would be considered legally intoxicated in my state and not able to operate a moving vehicle. So 0.10% would be even higher than that. Um, so that's the dilution we're going to use and see if the test strips work. So this is a brand new package. I haven't broken the seal yet. And the way the product says to use it is to put a few drops on the active area and wait two minutes. It says, saturate the test pad with breast milk, wait exactly two minutes, check the color card for results, one test strip. So I've got my test strip ready and I've got my second test strip ready that we're just gonna do water. Um, I, have, I have 925 milliliters of reverse osmosis water in my pitcher. Um, I only have a 25 milliliter graduated cylinder, so I didn't make you watch that entire measuring process. So now we only need to add uh, 49, or I'm sorry, 24 more milliliters of water, plus we're going to add one milliliter, and I have an insulin syringe so that we can get our milliliter, of 95% grain alcohol solution. Um, I only have a little bit in this bottle, so not because I drank it, because I did other experiments with it. Um, so let's go ahead and get that measured out. It did take a long time to get the rest of this water into this pitcher. Okay, being really super precise. All right, that's 24 more. And make sure we get it all in there. And I'm gonna pour, oh, this is gonna smell bad. Okay, pour a little bit of this grain alcohol in. And then we're going to draw it up with the syringe. Um, oh no! Okay. one milliliter and we're going to stir it around a little bit. I'm just going to use a spoon from my kitchen. All right and then I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of that liquid in the spoon. Let's open up our test strip here. I feel like I have ethanol on my hand so 
Be real careful. I'm excited, I've never used these before. In a later video, I'm gonna drink a glass of wine and do a test. Okay, I like the way this is packaged. The active side, can you see that, is down so that you don't have to risk tearing off the active side. And it says, saturate. So, we're going to dip it in there. And it's nice and wet, and it says to wait for two minutes. So I'm gonna leave that right here. We're gonna see if it turns. And I'm gonna use my piggy timer. Not super, super precise, but better than nothing. And then let's get a fresh spoon. Fresh spoon and put a little bit of plain water on it. A little bit of plain water. And we're going to saturate another test strip. So it has like a little scissors line on it. And when you peel it off, um, which I like this about this product, this scent seems like it's easy to use. We're gonna see how useful it is. Um, but when you peel it down, there's still a great deal of space before you get to the test strip. So you don't risk damaging the test strip. Cause these are kind of expensive. Um, I think I got, eight in the box, and I think it was about $16, so I guess it's about, including tax, um, I guess that's about $2 a strip. Okay, and so we got this one, make sure it's good and wet with plain water. And I'm gonna lay it here. Well, my ethanol one, oh, ta-da! My ethanol one has turned kind of a grayish black. Um, so, it does detect ethanol um, at that dosage. Um, that's pretty cool. So far, our let's reset this for another minute and a half, little piggy. Um, so far, my water strip, which I don't want to pick it up, um, my water strip isn't changing. So that's pretty interesting. So just to get an idea of the dilution that we did, um, so in one liter, well, this is not a liter, this is uh, 950 milliliters, so it's almost one liter. Hold on, we'll interrupt ourselves to look at the control. So this is with the water. Um, it did not change, so it really is detecting alcohol. It really is detecting ethanol. I'm kind of surprised. Um, so here is our ethanol, and here is our water control. Um, that's I'm really surprised it works so nicely. Um, so to get an idea, like I was saying, of what our dilution was, um, this was, until we took some out to test, this was 950 milliliters of water, filtered water, to which we added one milliliter, one milliliter fills this syringe. And let me also fill the syringe with water to put out on a spoon so you can see um, exactly how little fluid we're talking about. So I'm just going to draw up some water that I have. Um, so this is a tablespoon and this is what one milliliter of ethanol per tablespoon looks like, or in a tablespoon, one milliliter looks like. So we're talking about very, very, very small amounts of alcohol diluted into this water. Um, and the strip picked it up. So it doesn't tell me on the box what the uh, sensitivity is, um, but it sounds pretty, sen it seems pretty sensitive. Um, and I think that this also is a good visual of how much ethanol you would be diluting into your body if you are going to be drinking. So make sure to click subscribe because we're going to be posting a video of me drinking some wine and doing some test strips with my own breast milk. Um, and we're also going to be testing some other foods in the future that may contain a little bit of trace alcohol. Um, so make sure to like us on Facebook, click subscribe, and we will see you for our next film on drinking wine and using breast milk test strips.